Mark and Susie, help us know a little bit about the things that you do day in and day out to to serve each other as, in your marriage. Boy, um, my list would be really short. <laughs> Susie does a far better job of taking care of me than than I do of her. And I'll have to tell you something that that I've uh, been working on personally to do better at in that sharing is that I think I'm really good at showing up. Um, and I'm there at the family events, but I need to work better at participating. You know, for example, there's this time of year you're decorating a Christmas tree and the tr Christmas tree might be out and I could be there sitting on the couch while the tree's decorating but I I just need to move off the couch onto the floor and get working with the stuff so I'm I'm an expert shower upper and um, I'm doing better every day because I'm aware of the fact that I have a serious participation crisis <laughs> and that I'll, I'll, I'll show up I'll, I'll pay for the event. I'll be there, um, and then I'm and then I'm heads down in a dang cell phone, you know, posting about the cool event we're having as an activity. And in doing that, I'm not participating in the activity. And so, I I personally have a participation crisis, but because I'm aware of that, I it's it helps. Hey, self awareness is the first At least I'm consciously right? <laughs> at least I'm consciously incompetent. And Susie, what are the things that you feel? I mean, that's really great in, in terms of being present and not just, you know, that's, there's two sides of that, right? Showing up and also being present. What would you say are the things that are, you know, your tips for serving in your marriage? Um, I think freedom is an agency is the biggest thing that has affected our marriage the most. When we were first married, that first five to seven years, it would drive me nuts to have him go to the movie with his buddies and his brothers and he's a twin brother so they're tied at the hip and it would drive me crazy and I surgically we had that removed but. <laughs> <laughs> but after figuring it out for a little bit and a great therapist and <laughs> it it was saying you know what it's okay if you go to the movie take the that couple hours get a break and I can do that on my days that he's not wanting to go to a movie, I'll go with some girlfriends shopping or whatever. That just the freedom of being able to say, you know what, go have a good time. Yeah, I have to I have to comment on this uh, real quick because um, this was a big issue for us early in our marriage. I mean, that first five years, we we've been together twenty years now, and and there's this joke that it's funny now, fifteen years later, we can joke about it, but. I say, how long have you guys been married? And say, 15 happy years, <laughs> together 20. Um, but what was interesting was when there was more freedom in the relationship and more freedom for me to go do what I want, and she would get mad if I went and did something with my friends, whether it was riding four-wheelers or flying out to an air show or something, and I would say, well, you should go do stuff. Go have fun, and, and she wouldn't take advantage of that. Um, but the more she pushed to keep control of this this guy that wants to go everywhere and do everything, um, the more unhappy we were. But what was interesting is when the freedom came into place, I wanted to be home. Suddenly, I didn't, I didn't have to think, if I go home, I'm going home to someone that's going to be nagging at me because I'm not there enough. I'm going home because I want to be there. The nagging's not there. And it, it, it flipped. I stopped going on these long really four-wheeling trips and adventures, and I started just wanting to be home and, and be with her. And so it kind of took two things. Um, one was the freedom to be able to go do what I want, and then suddenly realizing that what I wanted was to be home.